In this brief video we provide guidance on chemical control of fall armyworm. We do not indicate which insecticide should be used, but we mention uh, the types of damage, when to spray and also economic thresholds. The information we provide applies to maize production on the high felt and western maize production regions of South Africa and not the low-lying warm and humid areas of the country. You see on this slide important and if you farm in the high felt region important things to take into account is low night temperatures and its effect on pest development and with the temperatures we're experiencing now in february and march reinfestation of your crop uh, in this particular region is highly unlikely late infestation by stem borers and by fall armyworm usually results in ear damage in this picture, you can see Buzeola fusca on a maize ear making similar type damage to f that fall armyworm would do. Chemical control under these conditions will not be effective, especially if it's applied by means of aerial application. Before insecticides are applied, certain things have to be kept in mind. It is very important to scout for damage and determine the percentage infestation on a field. That is usually done by looking at three different areas in a particular field, counting 100 plants in a row and checking how many of them has got damage. And this will provide you with an indication, objective indication of how serious the infestation is. And you can use an action threshold, which we'll talk about later. But the most important message of today is that the threshold for chemical control is not one. The age of the plant should also be taken into account when decisions are made regarding chemical control. Although this seems very high, throughout the world, the action threshold for fall armyworm is between 20 and 50 percent. But on the conservative side, we can say 20 to 30 percent. And once plants have flowered, chemical control is not viable anymore. Effective chemical control is very difficult. The reasons are that damage is noticed too late. You can see that lesions on the leaves of this plant is very big, meaning the larvae are too large to be controlled by means of a chemical. And because of the frass and leaf shape, insecticides do not reach the larvae deep inside the world. The reason why insecticides are applied too late is because larval damage goes unnoticed. It is not easy to see larval damage and on this graph and line drawing we can see the type of damage caused by different sizes of fall armyworm larvae. On the left we have small lesions caused by uh, L1 and 2 larvae. L3 and 4 larvae causes more significant damage like the picture in the middle. The type of damage which we only notice in the field under normal conditions is usually um, caused by L5 to 6 larvae when damage becomes really visible. And that is when we can't control the larvae anymore because they're too big. Large larvae equals poor control. Only larvae smaller than 10 millimeters are effectively controlled by means of an insecticide. And those are the larvae that causes the type of damage we do not easily see. This type of damage on a leaf was caused by L3 to L4 larvae, meaning they were 7 to 9 days old. If fields are not scouted regularly, this damage goes unnoticed and resulting in ineffective chemical control. The window for effective insecticide application is very small. The larvae live only for 10 to 20 days and small larvae makes the type of damage that we do not easily observe. Larvae that are larger than a 10 cent or 10 millimeter is not effectively controlled. So we have a catch-22 situation. Damage by large larvae that are older than 7 days or L4 to 6 larvae are easily observed. And that's when we see the damage. But they are already too big to be controlled effectively. For chemical control to be effective and economical, correct timing is of absolute importance. To have the correct timing, scouting is important and at least some aspects of an action threshold concept should be taken into account because the economic threshold for fall armyworm control is not one.